Welcome back to Bear and Breakfast. All right. I can actually zoom out. I don't know what took me so long to try that. I guess I was trying to pick up stuff. Let's check to make sure we have our... Okay, looks like we got a gear where it needs to be. And let's check the map for any interesting stuff to pick up. Ooh, there's a way out over here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's go ahead and find the source of joy. Let's work that. A24. Last episode, we got our first review. Then we took all the garbage that we found in this area and made our previous area very, very nice. Set it up for three rooms. Scheduled ourselves for three more guests. Now we're just going to kind of wait on that. Come one, come all to an annual celebration, Finn. Join the joyous jubilation and celebrate the things that make life worth living. Our special offers and exclusive discounts. You're not Finn. Of course I am. I'm Terry Finn because I get up every day just feeling Terry Finn. You're a different kind of annoying. So is it Terry or Finn? Having two first names is an egregious marketing offense that only leads to customer confusion. Parental advice materials should include branding guidelines. I'm always saying that. My name is conveniently picked by a committee of advertising specialists based on our current cultural and pun-friendly trends. As nature intended. Bon Voyage would like to commemorate this very sad yet lucrative past year by bringing you the festive winter spirit in purchasable form. Special Shop has new items available. Visit the shop to find new items available for purchase. Well, I'm a sucker for live festive versions of everyday things. Aha! Uh -huh. Some of these are sold for gold, and some are sold for valuables. Either way, I can't really afford any of that. I know that Finn was over here. Kind of in this separator. We spotted him last time. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Grab opportunity by the throat and show it who's boss. Press the green button. Hello again. Be part of the next exciting experience. Enticing escape electrifying enterprise. Oh, enticing escape. Lots of alliteration. Yes, you've said that. I'm already part of one. Welcome to the arid plains. The desiccated desert. We're sitting in a parking lot. The wild wasteland. I can't believe I'm following a fish around. The A24 is the main artery of the valley. When guitars hum the tunes of old country roads, this is one they sing about. And this brand new premium habitation facility is the first and only stop for brave explorers on the run. An oasis in an otherwise barren realm. There's a little shop across the road. Make no mistake, adventurers can be expected to live off a tent and trail mix. They require the best amenities, which is the perfect point of expansion for your now chain of premium properties. I'm sensing a lot of cleanup work. You should always trust your senses.
want to check to see if anybody's throwing anything along the highway. Ah, a place to stash some stuff. Tony's Construction Service. Welcome to the Roadside Motel. Would you like to repair it? Sure. Clear out any debris and garbage inside the structure. I think I've already done that. Oh, I must have missed some one little thing. Uh-huh. Is the structure clear of any debris or garbage? Yep. Great. This is not a step. Just thought I'd let you know you did a good job. Step two. Gather construction materials needed to repair the structure. In this case, pine wood planks, iron, nails, and stone. I was about to say, I think I have all that too. Have all the materials been acquired? Yep. Get your butt to work. This place looks like it's gonna be huge. Now we've got hygiene and special. A distillery. A bathroom. I need to wander around a little more. It's a very expensive clock. Let's see. Go to Black Moss for the A24. Can I get there through the north? Looks like there's an area exit there. Hmm. 
kind of like I'm in here, but I'm in a little kind of a side area. I guess we gotta take this bridge. Probably less convenient to do this at night. Charcoal Lily. Are these items on? Oh yeah, they are. Hello? Oh, not this again. I swear on my tail. What happened this time? Suck a hand down a dram pipe? Bad mushrooms? Heard a noise coming from the trees? No, I was just looking. Because I hate to break it to you, but all trees make noise. That's pretty much what they do. And they sure as hell don't do it for you. I'm sorry to bother you, ma'am. I'm just looking for a friend. A friend? Happy air I when it used to be. He's pretty small. I think he got lost. I'm worried something happened to him. Small? How small are we talking? Because something down here... Small things down here don't last. Unless you're... You mean shelf life. Oh gosh, no. It's a rat. Same as Wade. Oh, cricket. Someone came looking for that thing. You should be paying me rent. I know where Wade is. Unfortunately, come inside. Inside? Oh, don't go oh, brave on me. You're too big for my cauldron anyway. <laughs> Okay, here we go. And then, just before the tire hit, Boss pulls up his cane and smacked it out of the way. Oh golly! And then what happened? We got a piece, then we scrammed. Wow! And what was it like? The thing? Oh, you mean a little artifact that yours truly sniffed out in less than an hour? Only just about the rustiest cataclysmic comfort you've ever seen. Whoa. It stank too, real bad. We think a cockroach lived in it before we found it. Whoa. Twig. What I'd say about liaising, liaising. I want to say hanging out with the criminal. Criminal where? Yes, um, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. Besides, we have a guest. A rather unusual one of that. Wade, are you Wade? Oh, I mean, no, I'm not. Oh, yes, he is. Festering, noisy pest that can't keep his tail out of other people's business. I was prepping him for pickling, if you need to know. His tiny bones make for great feather holders. No, you are not. You just said you didn't know how to get rid of him. Shush. Who wants to know? I'm on a mission to get you back to the dump. Your boss is worried sick. You talked to Mr. A? Well... Liaising is the word I was looking for, by the way. Liaising. Well, more than slightly preoccupied. I can't believe he sent someone after me. Yeah, he told me to bring you back, and he let me use the dump. So I can get more humans in the valley. He never lets outsiders in the dump. You must have something special, mister. Well, let's not get hasty, Mr. Special. The rat isn't leaving this place just like that. But she just said you wanted him gone. Of course I do, but now you want to take him. So there's a value of circumstance. I ran out of charcoal, Liddy's for pickle juice. Ha! You won't find them anywhere else but black moss. Or maybe the bird brain in A24 has some for sale. He just gets them here anyway. Ipswich Wholesale has new items available. Visit the shop to find items available for purchase. Bring me back a few and I'll see about jailbreaking your newfound friend. I think I already have those.
A dozen? Looks about right. Good. This better have been worth your time. Because next time, you're taking him back in a jar. And paying double. Thanks for helping us out, mister. Your Charlotte can't be... Can't bend after the lilies. Like she used to. Shush, child. Charlotte, the half-tailed half alligator, struck Hank as someone who was good at trying to be scary, but didn't always stick the landing. As evidenced by Twiggy, her tadpole buddy, who by the mere tiny presence debunked any worry that Charlotte would actually try to fit Hank in her big boiling cauldron. That's the hope, at least. All right, Pipsqueak. Yes, ma'am. Scram. Yes, ma'am. Thanks. There's that washing machine that we couldn't get to before. So we know now, until we fix the bridge. Let's see what's up with that bridge. Logger's tools. Sadly, we already used all the logger's tools. trapped in here good let's go get south first there we go my goodness Stepping one foot outside this stinking dump. Not one foot. Yes, ma'am. For a month. Yes, ma'am. The first rule of garbageology is the cream always rises to the top, so make sure you dig down deep. Claire, obviously, the right hand out for the operation. Her skill at finding the best stuff is only matched by her loyalty to the old rat. Anton, the boss, seems to have a real business hard ass. But I guess you gotta be like that in this line of business. Wade would be closer to the left hand of the sting, useful in limited capacity, and only under strict supervision. At least according to Anton. Uh oh. I've always say I've had enough of him, but then I remember the advantages to having an extra pair of hands. Like for sending out on a wild goose chase? Exactly. You're welcome. Don't flatter yourself too much. You did what you were told. 
But I suppose there's another end to this bargain. And we always keep our word. No good, two timing little rat. The gate's open, what do you want? Nothing. I was just about to... I'll tell you what. There's no respect in top-down criminal organizations anymore. What's the point of having bootlickers if no one's... Passing... If there's no passion for boots or licking? My goodness. Maybe the flavor isn't great. Maybe the flavor isn't great. I ought to turn you into boots and see what flavor comes out, eh? Fair flavor? You should really stop testing my patience and get to the dump. There's a bag of door... doorknobs back there you might get along with. I hope they like me. Claire, get this bird brain. On the garbage grinder. Maybe we'll get lucky and he falls in. Alright, so that was that thing that we tried and we couldn't make use of. That's a blue question mark. You're not ready for me yet. What do you want, bird brain? Antan said something about doorknobs. You don't get to address the boss like that. He's boss to you. Oh, sorry, boss. Said something about doorknobs. Sure he did. Look, you gotta be careful around the dump. It's not a playground. Especially around the garbage grinder. That'll rip you doorknob right off. That'll rip you doorknob right off? Then I couldn't open any doors. Listen, you can throw away any furniture you built yourself in the grinder. It'll wreck it, but you can salvage some of the materials. About half, give or take. I pick take. Bye. Just don't get your hands stuck in there, or you'll lose it. And we can't have ripped limbs just lying around anymore. Or else the boss is going to lose it. My hands? I'm not talking to you anymore. All right, so... If we have like low level beds, we bring it back to get some of the materials back from the bed. As far as the motivated deal game mechanics wise. Getting a lot of materials, not a lot of valuables. I guess we're okay for valuables right now because we don't have the motel open. Or I'm sorry, our our shack is already open. We do need the materials for the motel though. Maybe somewhere in here we're getting steel. Yep. So that's good news. Well, we need those valuables. We need raccoon money. Did I come over here before? You seem like you barely know how to put one foot in front of the other. 
I'm not surprised. Excuse me? Tell me, my child, do you reckon with the wild? Do you flirt with the bizarre? Beckon the uncharted? I've been known to occasionally look away in the distance. No, I didn't think so. You don't look the part. You've never set foot in a shadow darker than your mother's. If you think these lands are young, you are greener than the crudest sapling. There is nothing to fear but those who fear nothing. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, fine. I guess I'm lucky to stumble upon someone with pockets. Did you just call me something? I hope for your sake that they're not empty. Say, you wouldn't happen to know anything about all the humans showing up out of nowhere, would you? I might have a hand in that. Well, there's no stopping them now, is there? Once they start coming back, they'll keep coming. I won't complain. Business has been slow since the dreadful blaze. I didn't know the fire reached all the way out here. Oh, the fire wasn't even close to the worst of it. The shouting, the anger, the pain, as if the gods were waging war over us. Maybe they were. Now you're getting it. Anyway, you might be taking care of the motel, but there's a clear lack of stuff to bite on around here. Something that old diner was a sweet spot for. If you can get it back up to speed, I'm pretty sure you'll get more people to come over. Recycle furniture for materials. Garbage grinder can be... Take crafted furniture and salvage it for free. Recycling will only return around half the original materials. We know all this. Place any crafted furniture in the input slot and click recycle. Once done, find the results in the output slots. You cannot salvage decorative items or any other than crafted furniture. All right. How's the construction site going? It's ready. Astounding. You're on your way to becoming the biggest hospitality developer on this side of the canyon. You're currently in position. One out of one. Hey, not bad. It is certainly something. As a leisure expert, I'm sure your senses are now precisely tuned to the next step in this possibly yet not probably profitable operation. Trick the humans to come over? Trick the humans to come over. I mean, offer a valued customer a room for lodging. Book a guest to the motel, then return to receive completely unauthorized instructions on how to build bathrooms. This is going to be intense. So they want us to build a bedroom knowing that it's basically not complete. I think I'm going to go for... Wait, what's the special? A distillery. All right. I think I'm going to go for kind of a long bedroom here.
That was basically all of our money. I'd like to have this room have a decent level of decoration. Let's run back north and see if there's some extra respawn valuables. Maybe our guest has arrived and started leaving valuables around for us to pick up. Everybody's happy with their rooms. I guess this is for the customers, not for me to use. Put down a lamp. Hmm. 
Maybe some art. We're planning to put the bathroom in here, so we'll put that towel rack right next to that. Try to leave room for the door. Okay. Ooh. Do we need a craft desk? Probably. Five comfort, 24 decoration. This guy wants a actual bathroom. A distillery available in the resort. See, I don't like this. They're setting us up for a failed. Because we can't build a bathroom because we don't have a bathroom. Hmm. The person with the lowest hygiene also wants a distillery. I don't even think I have the or lowest hygiene requirement. Sorry, let me just finish that thought. Let's see. Distillery. Distillery bar, bar stools, distillery dispenser. Yeah, I don't think I have any of that stuff or it's not available to me to craft. to add the person who's going to be the least disappointed. Or maybe maybe they'll let us book the person. You know what? Oh, we can only sleep at night. I think we're gonna wait. I'm tempted to think they might let us build a bathroom 
after we book them, but before they arrive. In the middle of the desert, in a rundown metal shack, lived Gus, the most handsome possum in A24. Seemed like digging through junk was the main activity around here, and he was no rookie. Although, by the looks of it, Gus primarily concerned himself with his charm and his driving wheel. Oh, hello. I'm Hank. Okay. Who are you? Gus. Nice to meet you, Gus. Yes, it is. What do you do, Gus? Not much. You don't seem to talk a lot either, Gus. Don't need to. That's fair. Well, just want to introduce myself. Not exactly putting your best foot forward here. But I only got the two. Better start diversifying then. I think you're being a little rude. You're right. You're actually perfect. Thank you. What's with all the people? Actually, I might have a hand in that. Good. There, you've got the best food and baubles. And they scare easily. A jerk stream. You don't seem like a jerk to me. Hey, watch your mouth, buddy. We don't take kindly to those types of words. Anyway, they used to roam all over the place. Reminded me of chickens. Stinky, floating around, afraid of their own shadow. Only stopping for the occasional turd. Living the dream, really. Well, you might start seeing more of them again. Doesn't bother me none, as long as they don't stink up the place. And maybe you don't burn the joint down again. All they left last time was a scorched sandwich and half a toilet. Fire almost got my little driving wheel too. I love my little driving wheel. Worst part is, sandwich turned out to be stinking leather book. Ask me how I know. How do you know? You're not really playing with a full deck, are you? I don't really like gambling. Lad, you've got a nice thick skin on you. That or you're as thick as gravy. Either way, I respect it. Thanks, I like your skin too, I think. Hey, what do you say about stuff like that? We don't do that around here. So what's a cheeky boy like you creeping around people for? I'm not creeping, I'm helping. Right, so making some extra beans on the side? Getting a kick out of scaring the little mustaches off? I think they're pretty neat, and I like the building part. And my buddy, Will, isn't upset about the money. Bah! What are you gonna use it for? Buying food? How come you live out here in the middle of nowhere? I prefer it that way. Just me and my diddly little self. I get it. You seem pretty cool to hang out with, though. Alright, enough. One more we're like that and we're done. So... What I was saying was, is that maybe I should wait. I think one of my guests is going to leave. Wait, no, they just arrived. So I don't know if they are going to leave tomorrow or the next day. Probably shouldn't make it a habit walking down the middle of the street. At some point, there might be a car. Of course, they really want you to fast travel. That's where we get our loggers, tools, and bus signs from.
Aha, I was correct. We did collect some cash. Or two people left anyway. So let's see what's going on in the guest requests. I want this guy. How much money did we make? Because if we have enough for the bus sign, we should probably fast travel. Uh, we might have enough for the bus. Though I don't technically know how much the bathroom's gonna cost. If the bus is a hundred, we'll do it. But I think the bus is actually two hundred. Yeah. I think we gotta we gotta make the bathroom first. Make sure we've got that locked in. And then we'll spend it on other stuff. So the thought would was now that I have money, I can build a bathroom and I can do that after I book someone for the quest. But before they arrive, we perhaps can slot them in. We want somebody with Kind of basic hygiene requirements, but no special requirements. So it looks like you are our best bet. Why be in debt from a bank when you can just borrow from your future? Same thing. I've got a guest on the way. Astounding. They're in for a surprise of a lifetime. Take that as you will. Sure. Because of our premium desert location, we are freely able to exploit a common resource to the benefit and our profit. I'm not sure exploiting who. That's right. Water. It's mutual exploitation thing? Due to our never-ending quest for patron ex excellence and unfortunate health and safety regulations, this location can support sanitary facilities, which are now a key expectation for any visitor of this location. Can you guess what step is next? Correct. You must now build bathrooms for your guests. Rusted bathroom sink recipe. Wooden shower, crappy toilet, lucky guess. Should everybody get their own bathroom or should we make separate? Distillery. I guess I could put the distillery here. Another room here. Maybe a smaller room here. We 
three by three is the minimum size. Well, just, just big enough. And we'll put a door in. Three by three, though. It's kind of a lot of bathroom. A door, a sink, a shower, and a toilet. I can never tell which way the reservation desk could go. I guess this way. They can sign in. Seems like it's pretty self-service anyway. Okay. Bathroom's already at a nine. Interesting. She's in a bit of a no man's land. I can see these people's requirements, but I can't see hers because she's not in the hotel, but just on her way. I think nine is probably good enough. I picked somebody with a low level hygiene requirement, so we should be fine. It's like mooching off your own future. All right, there's bathrooms now. Amazing. Now that your guests needs for immediate relief are met, we should turn our attention to the most important motivation behind renting a room in this motel. Being comfortable, taking some time off, Repression. That was my third guess. Recognizing the insight into our customers' motivations towards your product is key in detail of Marta marketing. You're doing that thing again. Why would anyone stay in this scum hole? Hey, I put a lot of work into this place. That's right, running away from what you can't escape. Shady pawn shop debt collectors. Yourself? That's a little dark. Running away from yourself, the thing you can't escape. Which is the perfect opportunity for one of our most popular facilities, a bar. That's worse. But not just any bar, a tasteful, sophisticated establishment, a distillery. Basic beer tap. Wood bar stool. Sturdy bar recipe. How refined. Actually, we're going to we're going to stop it right there. We got our first bathroom done. Next episode, we'll figure it out our first bar. Thanks for hanging out. I do appreciate it. We'll see you next time.